Hi, Mrs. Danton. Hi, Mrs. Stone. Holy Meow Mix. Everyone is turning into cats. Why do I sign up for this job? I'm freaking out. Oh, we're on the air? What I meant to say is stay calm, everyone. Let's go to Lee and Janisha for this week's story. Hello, Wildcats. Each spring, fourth graders look forward to a fun activity in their room. This activity involves welcoming some new classmates. Those classmates are the class anoles. Over the past few weeks, fourth graders had a chance to learn about and care for their very own anoles. We stopped in to talk to Mrs. Kreutz and some of her students about this activity. Can you tell us about this project you're doing? Well, we've been working with anoles for probably more than 25 years in fourth grade. And uh, it's part of our science unit. And we use the anoles to learn and study about the food chain what the anoles role is in the flow of energy from one living thing to another so we find out that the anoles of course are consumers they're secondary consumers because they eat another organism that feeds on plants we also in science talk a lot about the anatomy of organisms so we look at the anoles body and by the function of the different body parts and how that helps it to survive um, in addition let's see talk about the behavior of the anole and we do the kids do both observations and research to find out more about the anole's behavior. Then we also study the other things that are involved with that food chain, the producer which in our terrariums is grass, the crickets which are the next organism in the food chain that feeds the anoles and in our food chain the anole is the top of the food chain but in nature there would be something else that feeds on the anoles. So we spend a lot of time learning about the food chain and that leads into food webs and habitats and the structure of living things. Can you tell me what is the like the best part of the anole activity? Well, I think the kids would probably say that the best part is just getting to know the anoles and getting to be comfortable holding them and touching them. In the beginning, the anoles are really jumpy, and the kids are a little jumpy too. And over time, the kids get more comfortable grabbing a hold of them in a safe way. And um, the anoles become more used to us and become more tame. So uh, Rocky and Penny and Patty and Jupiter and Flash this year are among our anoles, and by the time we've had them in our room for a month or so, they're just sitting on the kid's shoulder or sitting resting in their hand, and they're very comfortable. So the kids just really learn to enjoy and love them as pets. Could you tell us about anoles and their diet? Um, anoles, well, they are carnivores, and since they're carnivores, they eat meat and they eat crickets. What else can you tell me about anoles? And those also have three eyes. And those have two eyes right here and one on, on the forehead right up here. So they can see what's up above them. Can, can you tell me about the anole's body parts? Um, one thing cool about it is that the tail can fall off if it's feeling threatened. Um, it will fall off and it will grow back later, but it won't be as strong as it was before. What have you learned about anoles? About their behavior and how they change their mood when in the t t when they change colors depending on their mood and the temperature and their body parts like the dewlap and their tail and their third eye. Can you tell me about the anole you're holding right now? Yeah, this anole is Jumpy George because whoa, that he's jumpy. <laughs> Um, and the first time, when we first got him, he jumped out of the cage. And once he, he got out of the cage and we couldn't find him and he came back the next week by himself. Ooh. What else about the anoles? Um, anoles eyes have a feature that us humans don't have. Their eyes can move separately or independently. Tell us something about the anoles. The energy passes from the anoles when they eat something. Fourth grade anole activity was a huge success. And our fourth graders learned a lot and had lots of fun. 
Thanks to Mrs. Kurt's class for letting us check in on their new classmates and learn a little bit about their project. For Wildcat Action News, I'm Janisha. And I'm Leah. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. We are going to go to Janisha for a special report. Hi, Janisha here, and I'm out around the building to speak with some Wildcats about all the students and staff turning into cats over the past few months. Right now, I'm here with Sandy. How do you feel about what's happening around the building? It is pretty scary, and I... Wait, you look just like the witch. Um, no, I don't. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're the witch. She's the witch. She's the witch. Yeah, she's the witch. Uh, no, I'm not. Um, I have to go. Wait, uh, let's just send it back to, to the newsroom. We are going to send it to VRT McKenzie for this week's classroom update. Hi, I'm VRT. And I'm Mackenzie. Students in 5C have been doing an amazing job of learning and having fun so far this year. Mr. Conley and his students have been working hard in the classroom to make this year special. We had a chance to stop by and see what has been happening in 5C. What have you been learning about in class this year? Well, so far in science, we had our science fair, challenger center, Rube Goldberg project, balloon carts, and now currently we're doing our rockets. What do you like most about fifth grade? Hanging out with my friends and being in the best class ever. What have you been learning about in class this year? We learned about numbers based 10, fractions, measurement and data, geometry, and algebra. What do you like most about fifth grade? I really like about fifth grade is that we get to do rockets and we get to hatch baby chicks and I'm really excited. What have you been learning about in class this year? Uh, we've been learning about the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, and right now we're learning about World War I. What do you like most about fifth grade? I like the field trips that we go to, like the Challenger Center and the Abe Lincoln Museum. What has your class been up to this year? Well, in 5C this year, we have been up to a lot. We have been having lots of fun. We've been doing the Wildcat Action News every week. We have been learning a ton in all of our subjects. And um, really, the fun activities is kind of what's made this year so great. Uh, the Project Impact basketball game, um, the field trips, um, just um, a lot of extra things here in fifth grade that I hope has made this year extra special for all the fifth graders. What do you like best about teaching fifth grade? Well, my favorite part of teaching fifth grade is the fifth grade students. Um, 5C students are known for being respectful and responsible. And this group this year especially has done a great job of doing those things. And because of that, I think they're all gonna be, do a great job next year in middle school. 5C is doing an amazing job this school year. Thank you to Mr. Conley and his students for letting us stop in to see all of their learning and all of their fun. For Wildcat Action News, I'm Mackenzie. And I'm VRT. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. It's time for Schooly News. Thank you all for helping me out, but I'm still not sure how we're going to find Nen Nano a little. You see, based off the power given by the microphone of Destiny, I'm able to track its approximate location. Hopefully this will lead us to Ned. Slow down! You're driving too fast! I'm not even going to speed limit, Grandma. You kids nowadays might be 
dancing around in your fancy dancy Tesla cars, but I won't let you do it in my van. Is she trying to say Tesla? That's what I said, Tesla. Anyway, back in my day, we only had one kind of car, and that's all we needed. Grandma. Hey, do you have the Wi-Fi password? I need to check my TikTok. For the last time, Sasha, no. Are we almost there, Cranberry? I'm bored. Stop asking when we'll be there. You'll know when we'll get there, Karen. My legs hurt. Can we stop and get some snacks like Cheetos? I need to charge my phone. Quiet, everyone. I'm trying to drive. Don't make me turn this car around. We'll go back home and you will all miss out on this adventure. Is that what you want? What have I gotten myself into? Are you sure we didn't take a wrong turn? We were supposed to take a left. Do you want to drive? I know where I'm going. If we drive your way, we would probably get stuck in traffic. We're in the middle of nowhere, Cranberry. It's Cranberry, and don't start with me, Karen. I'm in no mood. Is that a whale? Yeah, I think it is. Or maybe a dolphin. Uh, that's a trout. It looks like they're all asleep. Finally, peace and quiet here on the open road. Detective Cranberry, you said that you think the Witch of the Woods may have something to do with Chef Smith's disappearance earlier this year. Why do you think that? Especially since everyone thought it was Chef Nelson. Well, Chef Smith said that she heard cackling before she was put in the fridge. Oh. We also found this book of spells in the basement that has me wondering. Wondering what? It's hard to say. It's just a feeling. I think whatever we're dealing with here is bigger than any of us can imagine. I sure hope we find Ned Nander little. I wonder what he can do to help us. Good news, we are here, but we can't drive any further, so we'll have to go the rest of the way by foot. I sure hope he's here and that we aren't too late. Me too, Priya. Me too. It's time for this week's Good News, brought to you by 5A. I'm Chloe. And I'm Alice. Here with 5A's Good News crew. We've been on the lookout for Wildcats who are meeting our four school expectations. Safe, responsible, kind, and respectful. Let's go see who are meeting our expectations. I have Lana here from 2M, and she says she's meeting our expectations by being kind. How do you meet this expectation? Helping my friends with homework. I have Brayden here from 4JC, and he says that he's meeting one of our school expectations by being respectful. How are you meeting this expectation? By raising my hand in class and answering questions. I have Nico and Sydney here from Miss Picorni's class, and they said they just met their goal of learning all the prepositions. How did you meet this goal? Um, on the weekends, I practice them at night. How did you meet this goal? I wor worked at night with my brother. That's all the time we have for this week. We'll be on the lookout and looking for great Wildcats to interview. 
Will we catch you being great? Let's go to this week's lunch menu. Don't tell Chef Smith I'm here. I'm going to prank her. Oh, I hear her coming. Chef Minders, where are you? Boo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what was that for? It's because you made me eat a bean. You deserved it. No, I didn't. Anyway, let's just go to the lunch menu. On Monday, we have no school. On Tuesday, we have chicken and noodles. On Wednesday, we're having chicken and waffles. On Thursday, we're having beef tacos. And on Friday, we're having grilled cheese. Ah, oh, spider! Ah! Where? Haha, <laughs> 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 got you! Da 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 boo boo! You're gonna pay for that. <laughs> We are going to send it back to Janisha for the special report again. Hi, I'm back. Sorry about last time. Hopefully this one goes smoother. I'm here with Quentin. How do you feel um, about what's been happening around our building? Hey, aren't you the witch? No, I'm not the witch. Everybody, she's the witch! Send it back up to the newsroom! We're going to check in with 5A for this week's weather report. The Weekly Forecast. Presented by 5A. Hello everyone, I'm Scott. And I'm Claire. Here with the 5A weather team. Let's take a look at this week's forecast. Today you can expect a high in the low 50s and a low in the low 30s with a chance of rain. Thursday through Wednesday will be warmer. Expect a high in the high 50s and low in the mid 30s with a chance of more rain. Thursday through Friday, we should see cloudy skies with high in the 60s and lows in the 40s. Have a great week, Wildcats. For weather, I'm Scott. And I'm Claire. See, see you, you next week. week. It's time for another episode of... Yeah, Okay, class, how do we read this? Janisha, is that you? This has been... It's time for this week's Joke of the Week, brought to you by 5H. Let's go to Audit and Michelle to find out who this week's news quiz winner is. Hello, Wildcats. 
This week, we have two separate news quiz winners. Our first winner is Miss Binger in the cafeteria. She will be receiving a certificate and an autographed picture from the school of duty. Next, we have a winning class, KS. Completed the quiz together and got all the answers correct. They'll get a class certificate and a sucker for each student. Keep filling out the news quiz and you could be our next winner. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. That's all the time we have for this week. See you next time on Wildcat Action News. You need makeup here. <gasps> He's recording. No. no. You are a Slytherin. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're out.